Hey guys, today I'll be doing a review on the Nerf Ramrod and this is the funny blaster that um, it's called the Ramrod. It's actually from the RIP Rocket Gun series. Once again, I got uh, this information from Orange's Nerf page. So actually do correct me if I'm wrong and uh, if it's actually from another line uh, itself. Okay, so on to this blaster. Uh, it's a very, very old blaster and uh, all these were actually made in about... Uh, let me see over here, what do we have... Uh, 1993 so it's actually older than the Nerf crossbow and uh, okay I'll go on to the blaster it's a uh, it's not a spring nor it is an air power blaster it's actually a, a push or slam fire uh, type of blaster whereby you actually um it operates based on how fast you can actually uh, push the plunger forward uh, similar to a pulsator or a, a bazooka um, and some of the uh, ball blasters like the reactor I believe or the uh, the Lennon one which I forgot the name anyway uh, onto this blaster itself it's called the ramrod and uh, what it is is actually a quite a uh, funky looking blaster um, looks quite stupid actually um, I got this in the same lot as the backlash and uh, however this one is not um, that impressive and it does not really interest me that much however I must say that this blaster even though it is almost 20 years old uh, check this out so uh, yeah actually this was how I use it I'm not sure if it's the correct way what I uh, do is this is in its collapse uh, original position what I do is uh, swivel this out to the bottom pull it like this um, hold on to it and slam it forward so this is how I use it it has three ammo holders at the bottom and here's the top barrel okay and uh, yeah this is an interesting thing I wanted to show you uh, the air release is at the vent oh it's not focusing Come on, focus, focus, you piece. Ah, okay, forget it. There's only a vent here that's the air release, and I'll show you guys something really, really cool. <laughs> this is its stock uh, seal. The, uh, over here is the end of the the uh, plunger, so look where it goes to. Yeah, actually, stock before the finishing it has a perfect seal yeah see that's how awesome it is and uh yeah so it's a really awesome seal uh maybe might think of putting this in some blaster but i don't think it's worth the effort although this uh, perfect seal is uh really really uh, awesome and i was so surprised by it i wish nerf could come up with such seals in their current blasters um uh, yeah and uh, definitely since this is a direct plunger uh much more power and uh, much more efficient so i'll now show you guys a firing test okay first up we have a nerf streamline so i uh, simply shove it over the barrel and uh, okay ready fire not bad next up we have a sonic whistler micro dart okay third is a tiger dart Oh, Tiger darts seem to be firing, performing quite well with these blasters. Uh, Tiger darts, also in my opinion, are uh, one of the better ones together with the Sonic Whistler darts since they fire really straight and uh, they don't uh, swerve in suddenly in um, every direction unlike streamlines. Okay, and last we have the um, Suction Cup Micro Dart. Oh, not bad. Where is it? Over here? Yeah, somewhere there. Okay, so this was the Nerf uh, Ramrod. Uh, 1993 blaster um, older than a crossbow but uh, definitely uh, can't really compare <laughs> okay so this is the nerf ramrod uh, guys I really have a lot of interesting to sh thing I really have a lot of interesting things to show you guys and uh, lately I've been uh, very busy with work so um, all I have been able to do is shop and uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of what happened about uh, my eBay lot which I think Syke mentioned on his channel um, I will talk about that in the next video so anyway today I just want to share with you guys that I do have a lot of interesting things to show you guys I actually modified three blasters lately um, and uh, can't wait to show that to you guys so uh, keep watching keep favoriting and thumbs up or whatever you do uh, thanks for watching